Welcome back to Thailand Chit Chat. Today we have the Hoa Hin Report. Uh, it's been a little, little while, but quite honestly, there's not been an awful lot been going on. So uh, we thought I should do a little, little bit of a catch up. Yeah. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we have some more videos coming up. Uh, one we will be doing is, is actually a repeat uh, for Colin Hastings. Uh, who died in a, a car accident on the 29th of April. We just didn't feel it was really appropriate to, to re-release that as a mark of respect to Colin yeah, uh, at the time. So we will be re releasing that within the next uh, next week, week or so. But anyway, uh, on a happier note, yeah, uh, let's have a chat. So Richard, as I say, what's happening down there? Yeah. Well, it's good to see you. Actually, quite a lot is going on down here. Believe it or not, it's um, always, it, something's always there's, happening in Hoenn. <laughs> there's always stuff going on down here. There really is. Um, they've had a lot of uh, quite good little events at some of the hotels. Sort of, they're getting into doing like karaoke's and stuff like that going on. But there's also uh, some international artists visiting at the moment. Um, I went over to see them at a little hotel, which is called the Nern Chalet down at uh, Kaltakia. And a lot of people, actually quite a few of them are from uh, Australia and South Africa and different countries and stuff. And they've come over to this little hotel and uh, they've got a, an exhibition on the 13th, which is this coming weekend. And they've been producing a lot of pottery and sculpture and color and not just painting, but 3D and all kinds of things. So that's been quite interesting. And gradually word has got out that it's taking place and a few people have gone down there to have a look but still if you're interested um it's well worth having a look at that because the art is quite unique uh, from international artists um other stuff that's going on there's talk of a new bus service um uh, to the airports but not just between who him but between most major cities i think the idea that's is right. to um, improve the bus services for tourism between the major airports and major cities. So that uh, will include... Well, that's, well, that's, that's, that's an um, addition but they to... they already the, actually the, have quite a good bus service. Well, yeah, as I was thinking that. And also uh, the, with the new train service, that's going to be a little bit faster. Uh, probably in the bus service, and no, no offence, Erling, but yeah. a little bit safer probably as well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the infrastructure is being developed very, very quickly, yeah? Which is which is good. Well, good to is. see. And of yeah. course, the other yes, the other angle to that to to really emphasise your point um, in terms of stuff that's going on is that the prime minister has made a couple of visits down here over the past few weeks uh, and really told them to get on with the airport uh, at long last again. So you know things are gradually developing, and you know whereas there were lots of um, there was a lot of talk and a lot of. Um, anticipation for it to open internationally you know a couple of years ago that's all been put on hold and now it seems to have been sort of kick-started again but they still have to do work on the runway and they still need to do work on the terminal building um, but i think the idea is to improve uh, our initially domestic flights and then start to introduce those international flights and the PM's given them a couple of years maximum to do that. Yeah, I saw that you said uh, uh, into 2025 they will have it as an international airport. But also there was a big debate about uh, what they should name the airport. Is that right? Yes. Yes, he gave it a new name, which I don't have written down. It's sort of like <laughs> Pratrab Hoa Hin International Airport or something. I'm not sure. Or Pratrab Hoa Hin Inter Yes. Oh, something, so, like so, that. something quite imaginable. Yeah. Well, because the airport Creative. sits between Hoa Hin and and um, and Pecha That's right. It's right, it's right, on, the it's right border on the border. Yes, between the two, between the two provinces, and I think they wanted to encapsulate both the areas within the name of the airport. Right. Well, uh, out of interest, <clears throat> this is now the the class is a low season, another low season. Yeah. Uh, how is it? Is, is, is it? is it busy down in Hoa Hin? Is it quiet? Uh, or is, is, is the rains putting people off? Because the, the heavy rains haven't started yet. It's just it's just a kick off the of monsoon. Yeah. All I can see is that there is there is more and more and more going on here. More people coming down to move and live here. There's a lot of social media activity with people saying that they're going to come to Hoa Hin and live and retire or work down here. Um, there's more construction going on. 
the restaurants are getting a little bit busier. I was talking with um, Jonathan Fairfield at Huyen today, uh, just yesterday, and we were both saying that we're both extremely busy. His, you know, his um, Huyen today is really busy, packed out with with stories and advertising. Our radio station, Surf Radio, is still also very busy, packed out with advertising. So there's a lot of business going on. Um, and the restaurants, I think, are trying to pick up, you know, and and, and just uh, capitalize on the numbers of people that are here. There do seem to be a few more Chinese tourists now because you don't need a visa to travel from China to Thailand or from Thailand over, up to China. Um, so, you know, they've got no no restrictions there. So I'm anticipating more Chinese visitors and there are still, you know, there are quite a few around. Um, but overall, I think Wahin is going to see a huge resurgence of popularity. Yeah, so so basically, last month, the previous month was, was quite quiet. A lot of the publicans, they were saying it was it was pretty quiet. Uh, so you're seeing actually a, a, an uptake just now. Yeah, uh, things getting yes. better. Which we expect it to be in July, August, getting better, and then uh, sort of yep. September, October, and then up to the high season, sort of October, November, December through to February. So that's that's that's, that's oh, interesting. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, you know, there are still things going on. Um, <clears throat> uh, tonight, we're in the middle of the week. Uh, by the time you get this edited and out, it'll be the weekend. But, you know, this week we've got a quite a well-known actor whose name is Nigel Miles Thomas. He was uh, fairly well-known in Doctor Who back in, you know, 40-odd years ago. And he's been working uh, in theatre for all of his life. He's actually out here in Thailand at the moment and he's giving a couple of performances tonight uh, as Sherlock Holmes. And he has another show as well uh, about, uh, well, we just have to leave that, but he has two shows, uh, one tonight, one tomorrow. Also over in Pattaya over the weekend as well. So if you like to see some real good comedy theatre, uh, the guy's name is Nigel Miles Thomas. There we are. Got that right. And he's well worth checking out um, at the theatre down, I think it's down in Jom Tien, somewhere like that. Right. But he's performing here tonight and tomorrow. Should be good. Um, what else is going on? I got this, which is, put it on the camera. Elephants. Um, this lady's name is Jeanette Brusque. She's French. She can't help it. But she is um, organising elephants. She runs this foundation and the company, um, and what these are, are little elephant statues. And some of them are not so little. Some of them are actually quite big, if I can put that close to the camera. Yeah. Elephant, lots of pictures. Um, and she's basically organized a lot of these elephant statues. Some are, are going to be small like that, and some are going to be almost elephant-sized, painted in beautiful bright colors with Thai designs on. And she's um, basically going to be coming down here to Hua Hin, I think, next month. But then they've got the main elephant parade in October. Now, they're asking for sponsorship so you can sponsor an elephant. And they're not cheap. You know, you're talking 150, 200,000 wow. baht to sponsor an elephant. So hotels and larger companies are doing that to have an elephant installed on their premises. So then during October, there's going to be this um, this sort of effort to try and track down as many elephants as you can. And the funds raised, all that money that, and the cost and the sponsorships are going towards the support of, of, of elephants uh, and elephant care within Thailand. And I'm hoping to actually have an interview with uh, with Jeanette, maybe the middle of next month. So well, you I'll might have lost. You might have that. lost that opportunity, saying that she she was French and and sort of <laughs> dissing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's absolutely lovely. I'm sure she is. I bumped into her at the Standard Hotel last week, and she's absolutely lovely, and got these fantastic elephant things going on. So uh, it's well worth following through. So we'll keep an eye on the elephants here. Right. Okay, well, I also uh, see that the, the uh, Hoa Hin is doing some ro uh, road repairs yeah, and pavement repairs. Yes. Uh, so that well, basically in Soy 94, yeah, uh, that's one, one area. Well, I drove up, I, sorry, let me interrupt you. I drove up 94 yesterday. I thought, have they started work? 
No. Not yet. Well, my, my question, I mean, there are also going to be pothole repairs in Soi Tawan Chai village, yeah? So, and then also the side, some of the sidewalks. But my question is, this is a this is a rainy season. Yeah, wouldn't they have done this in a dry season? Uh, but because it'll be stop, start, stop, start. But yeah, I suppose that they, when should they do that? Do all do all the the, the the municipal staff just have a holiday during the rainy season? I suppose they have to be doing things. Oh, well, I guess. But uh, yeah, it seems to be as if you do it the rainy season. That means it's going to be done again next year. And got done again the following year. And done again the following year. Yeah. Uh, so it seems like well, it keeps them employed. Yeah, it keeps somebody keeps somebody uh, wealthy anyway. But uh, not that I'm saying there's anything untowards with that, of course. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's, I was just a bit surprised at that. But I think it's good. That there's certainly progress. Yeah, and I think there's also a limitation, maybe to qualify that is uh, that the, the the it was the releasing of the budgets from the government has been has been very very late, so they haven't been getting that budget. So that's probably a a, a good reason as well. So uh, anyway, yes, so there was, I should think so. There was that yeah. on soy. Sorry, on on soy ninety four. It's not just going to be filling in potholes. They're going to be laying down um, major pipes, um, the drainage pipes. So this is a right. huge operation down soy ninety four. They're going to be digging up the entire road um, and relaying these huge pipes that take you know all the water from the mountains down out towards the sea. I assume. Um, so it'll be, it'll take several months, probably seven or eight months. Okay. So I also saw another thing and I, I was, I was interested, uh, simply because we were talking about, uh, basically re-releasing the, the video with Colin Hastings to show his career about this lady, yeah. Liz, Lizzie. Yeah. And she seems to have got yes. some, uh, some sort of press coverage. Who, who, who was she? Yeah. Cause obviously from Bangkok, we wouldn't know. Yeah? Well, Lizzie passed away. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, unfortunately, she she took a fall and um, and banged her head. I gather and um, ended up in hospital. So that was very sad. But basically, Lizzie was a really colourful character, and I mean colourful. She would wear uh, the most incredible coloured hair and clothes and glasses and earrings and stuff all over. And she would attend nearly every single event that was going on around town, whether that was run by the local authority or whether it was a private event or a hotel event or um, an educational one. She also run something called multi uh, multicultural events on her own, which would raise funds for charity. And she ended up providing uh, two scholarships for two Thai students. Um, to get to finish their schooling and go into university. So she was a real wonderful lady, got to know just about everybody. And, and um, her funeral was, was just about 10 days ago. And uh, obviously we do still miss her. Was she, was she, she was Thai? So she's taking a, a, a foreign name? Or... She, no, she, she's, um, I think half, I believe she's half Indonesian, half Dutch. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she, she was a, a long-termer in Thailand, yeah? Long-term resident here, and she lived, uh, I believe, close to the Sunshine Residence, which is a retirement area. Uh, and she was, she was actually, she actually had her apartment quite close to Market Village. So we'd often see her, uh, you know, trundling around Market Village, <laughs> doing some shopping or whatever. So she'd say hello to everybody. Lovely, colourful character. That's that's nice. It's nice to celebrate somebody's somebody's life and uh, yeah. uh, uh, accepting it's an unfortunate situation. Yeah. Well, yes, and her funeral was a lovely event. Everybody had to wear bright colours, no black or formality. It was just bright colours. Celebrate the life of Lizzie. Right. That's nice. That's 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 very nice. Okay. So, is there anything else happening down in Hoa Hin? You think uh, we should all know about? Well, I think we've really covered most of it. Um, no, I, I don't think there's too much coming up. You know, you've got the old run here and there and the old cycle ride and uh, the charity this and that and the other. But basically, uh, Hoi Hin just rocks on. And I'm anticipating a lot of Europeans will come back, uh, certainly around September, October. Over the summer period, yep, rainy season as usual, so it'll be relatively quiet. But as I say, there still seems to be a positive interest in Hoa Hin from people, you know, in Thailand and overseas. 
Uh, is there any concern about the overdevelopment of Hoahin? You know, there's 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 talk around saying that there, there's a fear that uh, it becomes quite commercialised, like like Patia with with because uh, Hoahin yeah. is seen is, is seen Patia is seen as a as a great a fantastic place, and it is because I like it, and it's actually uh, in my opinion improved an awful lot. But Hoahin was always seen mm. as a let's say the middle class and up. And I'm not trying to sound a snob, but it was like Bangkok was a metropolitan shopping, do all the stuff, you know, the historical elements. Patia was going party, 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 and Hoa Hin was seen as being more sedate. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Yeah, it's more laid back, for sure. Do you see that um, changing with with all development? Well, not just yet, but yeah, there is a huge amount of development, and who knows how? I don't think it'll change the character of Hoa Hin. Yeah, that's what I was going. Um, that's the correct way. I think I think that'll probably stay, but I agree that there is a risk of, you know, too much too soon, but we shall just have to see how that goes because as, you know, the bus services, the train services and the airport, you know, start to open their doors a bit more, um, we shall see. I think the population will increase. More people want to come and live out here, as we were saying. Um, I don't know about overpopulation or over um development just yet um but certainly that's something that may well be on the horizon yeah i think possibly further south uh, it'll start expanding so people will go down to hoa hin as a major area and then they'll go further further yes. south yeah down towards pramboree area yeah it's a beautiful yeah. area down there oh lovely and there yeah. are lovely plots of land down there and they are all being you know the prices have shot up and they are being purchased yeah Okay, listen, thanks, Richard, for that. Uh, that's a, a, a good update. Is it uh, good to see you again? <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll call it a day there, yeah? Likewise, Andrew. Always enjoy chatting. So we'll chat again soon. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, see you later. Cheers. Okay. okay, thank you very much, everybody, for watching the show. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, any comments, please pass on comments. Uh, we have other videos coming up. Not quite so frequent just now, but uh, basically, as as uh, information or things we want to tell you about come out, we'll just we'll just release them. Uh, so thank you very much again. Uh, speak to you, speak to you later. Bye bye.